Hello everyone, I'm Tommy with Studio Sense. I hope this video reaches you and your family doing well in this brand new year of 2021. It's been debated as to why houses create awesome fragrances and then they pull them from the market and suddenly the prices skyrocket on the very few that are left. But whatever the reasons, today I do want to talk to you about five fragrances that are discontinued, yet they're still currently available and I highly recommend grabbing them up. So when we return, we're going to talk about those, that and more, so stay tuned. Hey guys, and welcome back. So today I'm talking about five discontinued fragrances that in my humble opinion are fantastic underrated gems of fragrances for men. And right now they are currently discontinued. Now the good news, that's the bad news. The bad news is that they're, they're discontinued, but the good news is that most of them are currently readily available. So just because a fragrance is discontinued doesn't mean that there's not a glut of them out there. There are two, at least two in this list that are still discounted you can get them at a ridiculously low cost but that's not always going to be the case and so i highly recommend that if you're at all interested in how we discuss those today you might want to grab them up the very first fragrance we're going to talk about comes from the house of cartier it's very well known for making luxury men's watches among other things and it is Cartier Roadster. Now there have been several flankers created from the Roadster line including uh, Roadster Sport among them, also an excellent fragrance. But the OG stands alone as being one of the most unique fragrances to come out of the 2000s and it's not dated. I don't think this will ever be a dated fragrance DNA uh, or smell. In fact all of these, I'll just go ahead and make a wet blanket statement about all of these fragrances today, they're all timeless classics. So there's nothing pungent or strange or weird or challenging or offensive um, or stupid generic about any of them that would cause them to be derivative at some point in the future or you know not timeless classics and roaster stands among the best now the presentation is really interesting this is one of the few bottles that's actually designed to lay on its side now this this is mimicking the crown of the actual roadster cartier roadster watch which is again a luxury line of watches you barely turn the dial of the fragrance and the lid pops off and that is actually it's got a rubber seal on it and it's designed to mimic turning the crown of your of your watch your roadster watch but you can set it up on the shelf like this. The fragrance itself was launched in 2008. The nose behind it is Matilda Laurent. Bergamot, mint, vetiver, patchouli, cashmere wood, labdanum, and vanilla all comprise this wonderful, wonderful fragrance. It is a gem of a fragrance. This is vanilla, patchouli, labdanum, vetiver. So it's a very, it's a lightly dry, elegant fragrance with a little bit of a mint on top that actually stays for the life of the fragrance. So if you do like mint, it's, it's such a unique fragrance. Again, it, it's not dated. When you smell this, you smell a very unique DNA. It doesn't smell like something that's outlived its usefulness or represents an era that is bygone. It is definitely very relevant. This is currently very hard to find. However, right now, fragrancebuy.ca, a Canadian discounter, currently has them in stock as testers. I, that's where I got mine. I highly recommend following the direction in the link below in my description if you're interested in getting Cartier Roadster because once they're gone probably be a while before you see any more. This next discontinued gem for men is a fragrance that is one of my favorite woody fragrances to come from the house of Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc Star Walker. This particular fragrance features the woody note of bamboo and that's really what you get primarily in the dry down. Perfumer Michel Almarac created this. It was released in 2005 featuring top notes of bamboo, bergamot, mandarin, and orange. You've got amber, ginger, nutmeg, and fir resin in the heart. Musk, sandalwood, and cedar is the base that it's resting on. This fragrance is so clean and it's so fresh. I actually sprayed some on my hand prior to this particular review. Oh man, it's so good. It's a fairly linear fragrance. It's not deep or multi-layered or complex. Primarily what you get, you get a, a bright citric opening with a little bit of woods in there. But the citrus dries and goes away as citrus has a want to do. And then it's, you're left with a really nice, clean, pristine. And when I say clean, I mean it's not a, it's a very light, very blonde type of wood. And bamboo, of course, that's what it, that's what it is. If you have a bamboo uh, chopping block, which are very popular or 
you know, bamboo knives with bamboo handles, things like that. Bamboo is used in a ton of different things. It's a very, very pure, clean smelling wood. Mont Blanc Star Walker remains one of my favorite clean, light, woody scents. Right now, there are several Mont Blanc fragrances. I actually have stocked up on a few of them because I'm going to do giveaways when I actually do a full on review of this. So be on the lookout for that in the future. But again, if you're interested in getting it now, you can still grab it up at discounters. I highly recommend doing it as soon as possible. If anything that we've talked about today sounds appealing to you. If you like being fresh and clean and having that light woody scent about you, the really good performance, Star Walker is a keeper. Our next discontinued gem is a fragrance that may be familiar to a lot of you. It seems to galvanize a lot of people. It seems like people either love or hate this fragrance fall on one side of the fence uh, or the other. Mont Blanc Individuel. Some people call it a harsh chemical mix of, of notes that really doesn't find its place. To me, I feel like it's a fragrance that very much reminds me of a freshly laundered clothing, but it does have this kind of chocolate raspberry hint to it, but it's one of those it's like seeing dust motes. You don't see constant dust. When it actually hits a beam of sunlight, it's when you see a dust, you know, in a dust mote. The, the hint or the nuance of raspberry chocolate in this is very much like that. It's just a nuance. It's in the background, but it makes it a very pleasant, a very unique kind of fragrance. It is a little bit on the softer side. It's definitely not going to be a beast of projection at all. Individuel is a very versatile fragrance. You can use it in spring and summer. It also has a presence about it that's going to give it some good use in also cooler weather, so fall and autumn and winter. Bergamot, coriander, lavender, mint, juniper, rosemary, and cinnamon are all in the top. Geranium, jasmine, orange blossom, and violet are in the heart, resting on a base of amber, dark chocolate, uh, raspberry, musk, oak moss, patchouli, sandalwood, tonka, vanilla, and vetiver. So there's a ton of notes in this. It's a burdened fragrance when it comes to notes, but it has a, it, but it's a very light scent. It's a very subtle scent, and after a while, it can become a skin scent. But because of that, it's also a really good date night fragrance. Individuel is one, again, that galvanizes a lot of people. You might want to sample it before you buy it, but at this rate, at the cost, it is very low cost. So there is a glut right now out there on the market, take advantage of that, grab it while you can, because one day there won't be that many running around and the price, as eBay uh, often does, gets jacked up quite a bit. So that is Mont Blanc Individuel. Back in 2017, which is not that long ago, Mercedes-Benz created a fragrance that is a vanilla wonder. Mercedes-Benz Club Black. Bergamot, Jasmine, Frankincense, Ambroxan, some woody notes in there, and of course the ever-present vanilla. Pretty much what you get in this straightforward, super powerful, strong, punching beast of a fragrance is vanilla. So if you like the various lifespan and aspects of vanilla as it's hanging in the air, if you like the light creamy side of it, if you like the dark center side of it, um, if you like the soft kind of seductive essence or allure of vanilla, then you'll love Mercedes-Benz Club Black. Now I've talked about this one a lot on my channel and various lists. It is still available. It's kind of high right now, the price is. I actually got mine from fragrancebuy.ca. They are currently out, but they do have a notify me list if you wanna sign up for that. They'll actually send you an email when they get more in and it becomes available. I highly recommend doing that. Or if you just gotta have it now, check out eBay. Some prices are still okay to decent but I wouldn't pay, you know, 70 plus bucks for this. I'm really close to saying that it's worth that because it's such a good quality fragrance. I probably would pay 70 bucks for it to be quite honest if I knew that I couldn't get it. Other than that, if I couldn't pay anything less than that, hold out to see if fragrancebuy.ca gets more in. If they don't in the near future, the price is just gonna continue going up and you might wanna grab it as soon as you can. This one, because it is dark, rich, and gourmand, is a particularly good winter fragrance or cool weather fragrance. I wouldn't necessarily dress it up. It's pretty much just a casual scent. Last on my list of five discontinued gems that I think are completely underrated, yet are still available, is from the house of Kenneth Cole. Kenneth Cole Signature. Signature is one of those woody, manly, masculine fragrances. Right now it's still available, so you can still pay a, relative, a relatively inexpensive, a ridiculously inexpensive price in my estimation for the quality fragrance that you're getting. I think this is under 35 bucks um, at um, any, well pretty much all fragrance discounters. Fragrance X is, is who I particularly use. 
and it is just a wonder of a fragrance. When I wear this, I know that I'm fresh and I'm clean and I feel like I can be fully engaged to do pretty much anything and accomplish pretty much anything. And, and if a fragrance can do that in itself, pretty big deal. 2005 is the year of release. Frank Vocal is the perfumer. Grapefruit, cardamom, pimento, and violet. You've got espresso, you've got iris, you've got water lily and some other marine notes. So it's got a, a, an interesting aquatic heart to be as woodsy as it is. You've got amber, guayac wood, papyrus, and patchouli in the base. I'm actually wearing this fragrance today. I just sprayed a ton of it on me and uh, it's it's also one of those that I would I would term this is pretty much a beast in terms of longevity and projection for me. I get a good almost 10 hours out of this fragrance so it is a workhorse of a fragrance for as being as, as low priced as it is and it is unfortunately discontinued. I don't know why Kenneth Cole did that. It's a it's an amazing fragrance especially for being their signature fragrance. If you've ever tried some Kenneth Cole fragrances that seem kind of weak like For Him, I wasn't really impressed with For Him. Some of the Mankind, most of the Mankind fragrances are just meh, you know. This one though is a departure from all of those and that's why in my book it stands alone as being probably their best production in terms of fragrance for men. Kenneth Cole Signature. Well guys, that's it for my quick overview of five discontinued fragrances that are underrated gems and they're currently available right now for you to run out there and grab. Now you might be able to find some of these at rack stores, so give that a try. If you want to try that first, but then second I would go to your discounters and then before I would check out eBay and pay that exorbitant overpriced requirement for for these specific fragrances. Just because they're discontinued doesn't mean you wanna to pay too much money for them, so just be aware. But in my estimation, they're very, very much worth owning because they're all unique, wonderful, manly scents. Thanks so much for stopping by and checking out my video today. As always, thank you so much for your support on my channel. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you tomorrow.